So when you get enough coins, you will get the upgrade. So as you can see here, you've got an extra floor. Hello and welcome back to another video on this channel. So in this video, I'll actually be showing you how to make a tycoon game in Block 8. So you have to use a lot of tellies and stuff like that and stats. Um, so I'm going to build like the platform of it at the moment. So you're going to spawn in the lobby there and I'm just going to build this platform here. It's going to be 10 by 10 and then you want to build a way and then build another platform for each upgrade. As well, this tycoon was an idea from this person I'm playing on screen and they put, please make how to make a tycoon. So thanks to them, um, so that's why I'm actually showing you it because they actually gave me the idea. So thank you very much. So um, I'm just with each upgrade, you need to build every upgrade. You need to build like the exact same, but then for the upgrade, you want to add the extra bit on top. So as you can see, I'm doing now. I'm building the exact same, and then building the extra floor on top. So I'm going to do each upgrade is each floor, but you can add like smaller details in this as well. So I'm just at the moment building this. Okay, so this is actually when I've realised that I built the platform the wrong way. So if you walk into it, you walk in the wrong direction. Okay, so now I'm actually going to build the platform this way. So then when I walk into the tellies, I'll actually walk in the same way. And I won't walk, like, into the wall when I get teleported to the next upgrades. So as you can see at the moment, I'm actually adding the coins. Because what I'm going to do is for each upgrade, you need to get five coins. So I'm going to have five coins on this platform. I'm going to build people. So for each upgrade, you can go to a different place and you can collect, like, maybe five other coins. I'm not going to spread the coins out that far. Okay, so I'm actually making it so there's going to be three upgrades. So that's why there's going to have to be three separate like different platforms that you go to so each upgrade you can get different ones so i'm adding five on each platform because that's how many coins you need to get to then to get the next like, upgrade okay so now i'm actually adding stat givers so then when you go on to it you can go into a certain people and that teleport you to another place where you can get more coins so now i'm going to add stat tellies so if you walk into that person you have that floor it'll take you to another place and now I'm going to add the stat givers on each coin. So I'm just going to do stat giver coins and then just add a number on each time like this. So you might think when people go into the upgrade, they can look out and see that they're actually being teleported. So what I'm actually going to do to stop people doing this is add a block in the way so they can't look out. Okay, so now what I'm actually going to do is add the stat tellies. So I'm going to do, so the first upgrade you need to have five coins and you want to put it at the back. And then every upgrade you do, so I'm going to do stat tally 10 coins, and then I'm going to do stat tally 15 coins, and you have to keep placing it in front of the last one. If you put it behind, this will not work, so just remember to put it in front like how I'm doing right now. As well, you want to make sure that the telly, so when people walk towards the door to go out, it teleports them out, so you just have to put tellies there as well. And now what I'm going to do is make it so they can't see the blocks, and they can walk through it, and then I can use easy hide decals, to make it so they can't see the tellies. So I'm going to actually show you that it works right now. So as you can see, I can walk in there and if it happens, then as soon as I get five coins and as soon as I walk back, yeah, actually I get teleported just like the first upgrade. I got like the actual walls and the roof. And now when I go walk into this, I can get the first set of coins and I can't walk into this person until I have the first floor because of using the stat tellies. So when once I've got these coins, I go back and I do the same thing. So once I walk back here, it will send me to the next upgrade. So now I've got the actual second floor, as you can see. And now when I walk back again and go to the other person, it will teleport me to the next place where I can get more coins, so I can get up to 15 coins. So when I've got 15 coins, I just need to go back and then walk into the platform and then I'll actually have my next upgrade like that. So, and I'll show you now that I have the next upgrade. So I've got this floor and then I've got this floor up here. 
mouse and put this as well. Um, so to actually do this, so you can make a coin that actually gives you more than just one stat, which you can actually do. It's not that hard, um, but I'll show you what it, how to do it now. As you can see, my avatar changed from the leave, leave a bit of the video. It's because that uh, leave a bit of the video um, I recorded quite a while ago, and this video is quite new. Um, so if you want to add maybe like a, um, a coin that gives you more than one coin on there, like so maybe add a red coin, or so if I wanted the coin to give you three coins back, I'm just going to remove these so it doesn't matter anything at all, and then add one. Remember you can like, hide this one like that, you can just hide it down in the map, hide the map or something like that. Okay, so there you go. I've put three stats in there, so when you walk into it, you will get three. Okay, so now if you want to, you can use high decals on it, like this. So now it looks like a coin. So that's actually going to be all for this video. Press that big button subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>